In this video we're going to show you how to use the different views available in Smart PSS. Of course you've already added your NVR or DVR. The next step is to be able to see it. So if you see your device here on the right hand side you can basically drag it in and be able to see it. So I'm going to double click on one quadrant and drag in the device and it'll pull up the camera. Now if you want to see the second camera you can use the bar on the bottom or you can drag in cameras. So this actually splits it into different quadrants. This is a 16 channel unit so uh, the third is actually the third quadrant and if I double click on it it'll show me a grid of four. Now you can also hear audio by double clicking on a camera and pressing the speaker icon button. Here you hear some audio coming in from this place. So we have some radio playing in the background. Now let's say you want to be able to set your own views, some favorite views that you want to be able to pull up over and over again. So what you do is you go to live view and you drag in the cameras you want to be able to see. In this case I'm going to drag in the first camera from here and I'm actually going to change its stream type to be different. Right now it's using the mainstream. If you look in the top left hand corner here it says that it's mainstream using 4000 something kilobits and this is a 4K resolution. This is really high and for a lot of computers with uh, multiple streams being pulled out they're not going to be able to display them so the first thing you should do is if you're going to be displaying multiple cameras at the same time you want to set a stream type that's substream so that your graphics card and your computer's processor is able to display them all at one time in this case I've set it to about 704 by 480 which is about VGA resolution using only 1000 kilobits which is 1 megabits now I'm going to drag in a second camera and let's say I'm going to choose this particular camera and uh, drag it in now I can set the substream type again by right clicking on the camera or choosing it or I can just select it by dragging in the camera or before I drag in just selecting the substream type so in this case I'm to, for my demonstration purposes I'm going to show something that we have locally here inside the office so I'm going to right click it and select substream so here we have all of our three cameras pulled up at the same time now let's say I want to save this view so the easiest way to do this is use the floppy button on the bottom once you have your view up and what this saves is the number of channels to display the stream type so all of them are set to substream and the order they're displaying in now when I hit save and I enter something it will save that view type now to call it back up I can go into view and then click on it I'll show this how it's done so you go to uh, live view and pretend you're opening it up the the program again for the first time in a long time and then all you do is just double click view one and it's sort of setting favorites and it'll pull up those cameras back for you and that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to set a view and you can do this with cameras up to up to 64 all you do is uh, save the view at the preferences you like and it'll save it and you can recall it later thanks for watching